Wee! Oh no! Give me some left trim, quick. <laughs> yeah. We've obviously altered some it dramatically. Give me more left. You're almost at the end. Of okay. The let's see if I can. You can have a little bit more left. Though. Yes, please. A little bit more and a I bit. Might as well take it. That's your full left. Okay. Let me turn it and see. Oh, We've gone the other way. Big We've, gone. Now, We've gone. No more. We'll sort it out from there. Okay, let me throttle back. Let's throw it hands off. See what happens. Give me a tad of left rudder. Left, left right. Uh, right rudder, sorry, big fan. Good job on them on the board. <laughs> Good job on the board. <laughs> We've re trimmed it completely now. They're sensitive little things. That's not too bad, actually. No, that's not too bad. I'm going to give it a bit of just a touch of right rudder. The rudder is a very effective trim. I still don't understand what he was doing over there. That's not too bad, Laurie. That's not too bad. Watch when I'm going to put the power on. Oh, that's better. No, it's quite nice actually. Quite nice. You see, gentle burst of power. And then we'll put a bit more power on, turn to the right. Yeah, it's just, we've just got to accept that it's one of those aeroplanes that yours a bit. Flying nice now, Laurie. It's flying lovely. And it'll look lovely against the sunset. Oh, oh, lovely. It is. We're, light. We're losing the light, aren't we? Oh, look at that now, yeah. I can get, I want to do a bit of filming now, you see, I want to... And that's how a camel should be flying. Work out where the um, surface is going to be. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just um, glue that to uh, link, Laurie, yeah. with epoxy. Look at that, it's beautiful. So harmonised now, that is. It does. You just lean on the stick, you know. Those little lot of gun barrels, don't they? Those little uh, things underneath. Um, biplanes in silhouette. Oh, they look lovely, don't they? Anyway. This is a really nice little model, actually. Really nice. I'm going to give you the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they're both trimmed out different. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. See how it's crabbing, look. See, it's just a biplane. You put a bright aileron on. Hmm. The markings look good, don't they? Yeah. Let's do a stall test on it. Get up high. No shortage of power there, look. Right, I'm going to pull back a stick. Look at that. Oh, there's nothing nasty about that, is it? It just mushes its nose. Yeah, and, and it levels out. Yeah, it? I'll do that again. Four minutes. Tell you what, it's getting very silhouette Laurie. Yeah. Yeah. Probably because they've got such big wheels and they're always down. That's right. <laughs> they do help a lot, the wheels. Right. No, take it up again. We're probably safer up high tonight. You can put it into that turn, but you notice that's where the yaw comes in, so it sort of drags a wing a bit. Is it wrong? Too much stress on there. Oh no. <laughs> I need to come off and wreck everything. Oh right, I'm with you, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be alright actually. I think we flew it with uh, three ailerons before. Probably, yeah. Show you that stall test again. Do it into wind this time. I think the wind's coming from that way. Yeah. Throttle back, pull back a stick. 
Yeah. Just drops its nose, Laurie. That's so all it that's does. That's what it's supposed to Yeah. Do. Just drops its nose. Okay. It's supposed to leap upwards when you pull up, pull back. Uh, yeah, it will leap up a bit. Yeah. Well, I, I was actually there. I was probably at the extreme of the elevator travel. Yeah. Let's bring it in. So you only normally do it to compensate for no power? It's just to test what the model's like and um, a landing to see what, how far you can pull back on the stick. So check the stalling nice speed. Flare. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to land, does it? <laughs> <laughs> 